Good morning. How you doing? Welcome to Spring Piston Rifle Fever in Bible and Strength. Today I'm going to share with you my thoughts on the Daisy 177 Cal pointed pellets. Oh, these pellets have not done well in all of my air rifles. So, this 250 count does not say how much they weigh. Bought these at Wally World. So, they say they're precision max. I say they're precision junk, not precision junk. Now, in 177 Cal, I'm making this video because I believe these are the worst pellets I've ever used. And it's kind of surprising because they actually look pretty decent. The set some out on the table here. One laying down. One standing. And one with the skirt facing. Pull this up here. There, sorry about that. Fix this a little or not. But I think you can tell from looking right in the tin that these look like decent pellets. But, and they look cool. They have a sharp point on them or somewhat sharp. So you think that when you bought something like this, that it would penetrate even better. And you thought, well, with the point, it's going to cut through the air even better. It's going to zip right through the air like a dart. But there is something severely wrong with these pellets. This one right here that I'm looking at in the middle, you can see the, that it has a lead line going down it. That means it's not trimmed. There's another one. Actually, if you look at a lot of them, you can see that lead line going down a lot of them, but I've seen that on, even on JSB pellets and they flew good. But for some reason on these things, they must just corkscrew through the air when I shoot them. And I have a handful of air rifles. I have a Walther Terrace. I have a Gamo Varmint. I have a Crossman Storm XT. I have a Benjamin Black Lightning. And none of these pellets, <clears throat> none of these air rifles shoot these pellets well even at close range i get at, at under 10 yards i get weird corkscrew groups none of them are close i mean at, at under 10 yards if you're shooting something that's like an inch that's not good i've read in reviews before where people said 10 yards wow i put i made a group that was three inches wide or two inches wide you know what that's not good a good group at 10 yards is under a quarter of an inch that's the facts 10 yards under the quarter of an inch is good anything beyond that is not good because <clears throat> once you get past that the groups really open up so your rifle is only good for plinking i would classify it as a plinker with these pellets if you consider a two or three inch group at 10 yards good even a one inch group at 10 yards is not good so i just want to share that with you i want to share that i think these pellets are absolute junk i would not advise you to waste your money on it they might be cheap but they shoot like garbage perhaps you have an air rifle where these do shoot good already let me know in the comments below i would definitely like to hear about it share with us your story on these pellets on the daisy pointed pellets tell me how much these weigh too because it does not say on the tin it doesn't say anything um it says they're made in spain but that's it made in spain pointed junk question comment like subscribe if you like the video definitely give me a like i would highly appreciate that definitely give me a subscribe that will greatly help my cha channel out and i would highly appreciate that you all have an awesome Sunday.